Let's now have a look at the SAP Easy Access menu. When logging in SAP, you get uh, this SAP Easy Access menu. And let's find the materials management within the SAP tree. Materials management is under logistics. Out of this uh, component, uh, logistics, you have, for example, accounting, human resources, information system, etc. So you can see that logistic is a separate, is a separate um, a part of SAP. And if we go under logistics, materials management is again a component of the logistics. As you can see, the SAP tree is not ordered alphabetically. It does make sense. We start in the logistics by having some equipment. When we have equipment, we can manage materials. We can do some governance. After we have had some materials, maybe we can do some sales. Maybe we only resell raw materials. Otherwise, maybe we do some productions. We start by needing some logistics for our products. We can have extended warehouse management to store our products. We ha might have to manage transportation to sell our products. And then maybe we do some production uh, from the raw materials we have. We do some transformation and we, we create finished goods that we will sell. We have production, production process. We can do advanced planning for production and we might have to maintain the plant, do some customer service after, uh, long after the sales, quality management, logistic controlling, project system, etc. So as you can see, materials management is the basis for logistics. Without materials management, we cannot have any sales and distributions. We cannot have logistics. We cannot do warehouse management, transportation, production, and more. Materials management is the basic of logistics. And that is why the master data within materials management is very important for all the other components of SAP. For all the other teams also working on SAP, it is very important to have done correct materials management and to have the right master data as we have seen in the previous course, to have the six R functions correctly implemented in SAP, which means also having a correct materials management. If we go inside materials management, then we have the different parts of materials management, the purchasing, inventory, logistic involved verification. As we have seen before, this, this is the most important, these are the most important part of materials management. We also have some physical inventory um, management, valuation, Materials requirement planning, as we have seen before. Returnable packaging logistics, service entry sheet, service master, material master, again a very important part of the materials management. The basis of, uh, of all the product management in SAP is in the material master and more. Having a quick look in the purchasing, which can be um, a separate topic as itself. In the purchasing, we have the purchase order. So with purchase order, we request a supplier to deliver us products that we will buy from him. The purchase requisition, which is an internal document, um, some company members can request some uh, products for the, their daily job, the products they need to, to do their job. We can uh, outline agreement with our suppliers. We can do RFQ, request for quotation, ask the supplier to send us a quotation. Then we manage the quotation. We also have some master data related to purchasing, for example, info record, which we'll see later, sellers list, uh, vendors, and more. So in the next courses, we'll see the purchase info record, and we'll see the vendors. The purchase info record, as we will see later, actually links the vendors, the um, suppliers, with the master data we have registered. And then we have uh, some uh, environment um, uh, functions in SAP. After, after the purchasing, we have inventory management and, uh, and other functions in SAP. On this course, we will focus on the basic master data of the materials management and going to the material master and the materials, we can uh, create materials. So here, for example, we have separate functions, uh, separate transactions in SAP to create directly a raw material, a finished good, etc. All these products uh, that are part of the materials management.
now let's continue for, with the next courses where we'll see how the matters management is implemented in SAP and which are the basic master data that are needed for the purchasing processes in SAP.